I feel extra swaggy right now. I feel like I'm part of two. <laughs> <Nice. laughs> Did you just start with the six? <laughs> 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 What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a very, very, very special episode of Hype Talk. And like always, we got Big Boy Dark Me. What it do? We got Tan Tang, aka Frederico. What up, y'all? We got Sky Pilot the dog. And today, we are going to be going over key essential pieces to have in your wardrobe. And we also got a very, very, very special delivery from a brand called LAC that we're going to mm, check out. The leather jackets. Yeah. You guys ready to talk about these, man? Let's, Let's go. go. All right, all right. Key essential pieces for your wardrobe, mm -hmm. man. What is this? What does this mean to you guys? Essential. Essential. Essential means necessary. Very. So what do you have to have that's necessary you go. in your wardrobe? Yeah. Even if that means, you know, spending a little bit more of a premium price, mm. that's okay. That's okay. So I gotta ask you guys, what is a key essential piece that you guys have in your wardrobe? I have a, a black yeah. denim jacket I actually spent a pretty penny on. Pretty penny. But the, the fit is perfect. Uh -huh. The color is right. I can dress it up or down. Okay. Yeah. No one ever questioned it when I wear it three days in a row. Hey. Hey. All right, what about y'all? All right, for myself, it has to be a nice, solid pair of distressed oh, sure. denim. Even though I spent a little bit too much money on them, mm. I wear them pretty often. Well, yeah, I was gonna say, you wear a lot. I wear like them every pretty video. Often. Earlier I mentioned the messy on the black guy, Pilot, he was brown, could do it. All right, Johnny, what about yourself? Man, man? for me, your... it's gonna have to be some boots, but specifically some tennis. <laughs> okay, okay, because you can get on a little bit of a pricier side. Yeah. It's timeless, okay. I literally wear it year round. It's a piece that I have to have in my wardrobe. Okay, all right, so pretty much we just went over what are some key essential pieces in our wardrobe, but like I said earlier, all right, there's a special delivery from a brand called LAC, fresh off the press. I gotta show you guys. They sent us a couple jackets. So you guys ready to check these jackets out, man? All right. Woo! All right, so here is a special delivery man. from LAC, man. Shout out to you guys for sending these over. How do you guys feel? I feel like I can pick a little guitar oh, since right, right, playing right. it, man. You, you feel a little bit more uh, musical. You know what it kind of reminds me of is Vic Mensa has been rocking the leather jackets very consistently Heavy. throughout his freestyles on like the radio stations yep. and whatnot. Everyone doubted me till my album let loose. Now they eating their words like alphabet soup. I feel like Vic Mensa Ooh. right Speaking now. Speaking of Vic Mensa, right. I feel like a rapper. I've been trying to uh, contain my excitement. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know when the last time I threw on a leather jacket. I gotta tell you, I didn't think it would fit, all right? But I feel real <laughs> buttery right now. Big dudes okay, can't pull feel, off the leather jacket. I feel like I just got out the studio. All right, so staying on subject, you know, key essential pieces. Mm -hmm. Would you guys say the leather jackets are considered that? Oh, oh. Specifically these ones. Definitely. I mean, how much does a jacket like this go for? Each one is $375, you know, which is a little bit on the pricier side. Mm -hmm. But like we're saying, key essential pieces, Quality. Yeah, quality. That's quality. one thing that I know for sure. 375, it comes with quality. quality. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, these have some good weight to them. I'm like, these are heavy, you know? My what whole I mean? thing is the, the fit. Yeah, yeah. Like okay. for me, I have very broad shoulders. Mm -hmm. so, so for me, I like that it hugs my shoulders, but not too much. Yeah. But my arm also has room to move. When they told me they were gonna send you a 56, I was, <laughs> I was a little, I was questioning it a little bit. But I'm gonna say it actually looks pretty dope. Yeah. And how are you styling it right now? So I mean, I want to go with more of a casual look. So okay. this is like if you're actually going out maybe on a date with okay. the lady okay. or going out on the night of town with your boys yeah, or something. Yeah, we don't wanna draw too much attention. You still wanna keep it casual with the jersey. Yeah, and we gotta bring up the jersey right because you have the leather jacket, which is a little bit more on the high end side, yeah, but true. then you got the old school yeah. retro jersey underneath. Mm -hmm. That's classic right there. I'm gonna go straight into comfort. Comfort, when it comes okay. to essential, especially a leather jacket, it yeah. has to be comfortable. Got it. So the more times I'm gonna wear this, the more character it's gonna show. Yeah. And I feel like I seen G Easy wear the leather jacket like almost every picture out there. Oh, you kind of look like him right now. That's definitely his <laughs> essential piece. We cannot forget mm -hmm. the hoodie underneath, the layering with the hoodie underneath. Very true. Very Kanye S. For myself, you know, the distress. Get them right uh, here, you know? Like, you gonna full on punk rock. Full yeah. on punk rock. Right. Biker. Cause you know the distressed <laughs> denim, they're a little bit more of a grungier For type sure. look yeah. with the rips and whatnot. I wouldn't rock clean, plain denim with okay. a jacket like Damn. this. I agree. I was just <laughs> thinking about it. I was like, man, I should have some holes in these pants right now. Uh, I see what you so you going for the Uncle Jesse look. The Uncle yeah. Jesse look. Yeah. So I gotta let you guys know, I am rocking the Moto 1 right now. Yep. Tan is rocking the Moto 1. Moto you are two. rocking the Moto 2. Yep. So the Moto 2 seems like it has a little bit less details. You yes. know what I mean? The Moto 1 seems like it has a little bit more tag and straps and whatnot. Yeah. You cannot find this very frequently on a leather jacket. The you know, strap. The strap right yeah. here. You know, I'm not sure how useful it's gonna be or functional, <laughs> but for look purposes, this is pretty tight. All right, all things considered, you know, everything that we have mentioned, mm -hmm. I gotta ask you guys, would you guys recommend these to our audience? You know, 375, that is a little bit steep, you know what I mean? Investment though. Investment. Investment. You, know, you don't 
want a bunch of cheap leather jackets yeah. laying around in the wardrobe, trust me, that would be the worst. You can <laughs> add all those fake leather jackets up and get one real yeah, one. There you go. Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you one thing. The leather jacket is going to be the most swaggiest essential piece in your wardrobe. Whoa. Would you say this could switch up someone's whole image? For sure, because like I said earlier, you could dress it high, you could dress it low. Bread ones or Chelsea boots with Ooh. the leather jacket? Bread Chelsea one. boots. So, oh, I'm going to Hold on, hold on. We got to debate. We got to debate. Chelsea boots. Right. I'm going to let Johnny sound off. Why Chelsea boots? Because I ain't never really get to wear Chelsea boots. Okay. So if you don't have a jacket like this, you really got to put some thought into That's your outfit. I got, That's okay, okay. I'm going to go with the bread ones because most time people wear bread ones, they're kind of dressing down. But when you okay. throw on that leather jacket, uh, it's kind of like you got the best outfit for the bread ones. I but honestly, you can't go wrong with the Chelsea boot or the bread ones you can't, I mean, when it comes to leather jacket. And, all right, so these are the Moto ones. That is the Moto two, but these aren't the only jackets mm. that LAC has sent over to us. We got to check them out. You guys ready, man? Woo! All right, whoa! Yo, Yo. Tim, what is that right there? What is that? I right got there? the Moto One, okay. but this is the one with the cow high snake. Yeah. Cow high snake. I swear. And right this there. is what I would wear with Chelsea boots. Yeah. And actually, these tassels are removable. Okay. So if you ain't feeling a tassel look, you could definitely take these off. Yeah. We can remove them. They also have the belt, the strap, like they do another one. Yo, okay. this is uh, silky right now. Shout out to the cow high. All right, so I have the uh, number one cafe right here. You know what this kind of reminds me of? This, especially this part Good. right here is that Usher music oh. video. Oh. video is yeah. yeah. This is this. Hold on. This sounds serious right here. You don't see varsity jackets made out of full leather ever. I feel extra swaggy right now. I feel like I'm part of the video. Did you just start with the six? I can see this being a nice alternative to the people that don't really want that like the moto look. You know, yeah, like sure. you got the hat on the Harley. Yep. This is like more relatable. You got the varsity jacket, yep. but if you want more of like the higher end feel, you hit them with the leather varsity yeah. jacket. And I also got to bring up the sizing when it comes to these LAC jackets. When you guys are on the website, a good rule of thumb is you're going to take your suit jacket size. Mm -hmm. All right, so okay. say if you're a 44 or whatnot, you're gonna add 10 to that, okay. and that will be your LAC sizing. And if you guys want to uh, size up one, then just add two to that, and that way you'll be able to layer underneath and whatnot. Just as a reference, I want the people just kind of know my actual frame. So I'm 5'8", uh -huh. 240 pounds, Talk to a 36 waist. Okay, okay, okay. So okay. I do wear a 56. Okay, okay, okay. So this is a 56, mm -hmm. helps my, my shoulders out, it's not too tight, got okay. still move okay. around. For myself, you know, I'm 5'4 and a half, <laughs> my hair gelled up and whatnot. This one right here is a 46. Okay. And it's a little bit on the tighter side. It's okay. almost like a uh, another layer of skin. You know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't rock this with a hoodie underneath. But if you're just trying to rock t-shirts, I would go with the 46. You know, okay. I'm about 148. Mm -hmm. But if I'm trying to rock a hoodie underneath, I would go with the 48 sizing. I like the 48 sizing. It was perfect. So what about you, Tim? Yo, shout out to LAC. Thank you for sending me the size 50. But I could have probably went with a 48 because I want more of like a tighter look. But if you're trying to layer underneath, 50 would be perfect. Okay, there we go. So there you guys have it as far as a sizing reference. So overall, I got to give a huge shout out to LAC for sending over these jackets. And like we said, key essential pieces in your wardrobe, the leather jackets, not a bad play at all. You're, it's more of, like you said, an investment. You know what investment. I mean? All right, so that's pretty much it. Please leave down in the comments below some key essential pieces in your guys' wardrobe. And if you guys get a chance, make sure you guys check out that LAC website for these leather jackets. There's a bunch of different styles and whatnot. And also really important to keep in mind our sizing reference and whatnot. And that's pretty much it. Thank you again, LAC. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that hype talk. And again, shout out to LAC for sending over those jackets. And right now, for one week only, if you use promo code Richie Lee, they are going to give you guys $100 off of your jacket. That is crazy. $100 off. They're not giving this promo code to anybody else. So make sure you use Richie Lee for $100 off any jacket for one week only. And then after one week, it's going to drop down to $75 off a jacket, which is still a really great deal. Right now, we are at Kerry Park in Seattle, Washington. And uh, shout out to you guys, man, for checking out this hype talk. And that's pretty much it. And until next time, I'm out. Peace.